funny. Usually I'm a pretty good judge of character. It's not really my scene. I feel like I don't fit in. I, uh, I'm actually an art collector and I don't get out to these fashion things very often. <laughs> That's good. That's very astute of you. I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb here. I don't know, it feels like there's something really phony going on here. It's like nobody is who they are actually pretending to be. Thanks. You're looking pretty good yourself. I saw you talking to Vito over there. Do you know him well? He's a fascinating guy. I get the feeling that there's uh, a lot more going on here than meets the eye. Did he tell you anything unusual or interesting about what he does? You don't know Vito? That's strange because this is his bash. As a matter of fact, that's him in the booth right over there. It's quite a character. I'm actually pretty interested in his work. Is there, um, is there anything you can tell me about him? You know the host? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, actually, that's pretty fine. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I've actually heard some strange rumors. Why don't you tell me what you know? What? Really? That is wild. Maybe I better go check this out. Hmm. That sounds odd. That doesn't fit at all into what I've been told. Why don't you... Why don't you tell me something about yourself? Wow, a secret file. That sounds interesting. Maybe I should check this out. Sounds like fun. Listen. I like you. I don't know why sometimes I get a feeling and I just have to run with it. And I'm about to take a pretty big chance with you right here. Are you ready for it? You're right, it's much too risky. Let's just forget about it, okay? It'll be okay. Really. You can trust me. Listen, I can't believe this, but... But I'm ready to confide in you. This is going to be risky. And I want you to, well... Actually, no, no. Forget it. Alright? I don't know. There's something about you that I just can't figure out. Just what are you all about anyway? Are you sure? Because I don't know, this could be dangerous. <laughs> so, how about those fashions, eh? Yeah, I'll grant you that. You know, you really remind me of somebody I used to know. They're dead now. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of a lousy story, isn't it? Sorry. Now, I'm not sure that I'm quite as philosophical as yourself. But I do know a few things. I know when I'm getting shafted. Are you trying to shaft me? Well, that's a good attitude. I wish I could be as positive as you are. I think that I'm a bit of a fatalist. The only thing that I know is for sure in life is the fact that it's fatal. Actually, I'm a pretty good person. <laughs> no, no. Could be. I'm not sure that I understand you. Hey, I guess it all depends on your perspective, you know? That's what I thought. Listen, I really don't want to hurt your feelings, but uh, go away. Think about it. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about you. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm not here for my health. You give me trouble, and I'm going to trouble it back at you. Do you understand? <laughs> well, now I know. That's good. I like you. Um, I have to go make a call right now, and I hate to mingle, so I'll probably be right back here a little later on this evening if you uh, want to track me down. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, you don't know me, so I think you should cool out on the attitude, you know? Yeah. Well, the world needs help, that's for sure. I'm no saint, but uh, I sure do what I can. Listen, I have to go make a call right now. Why don't I catch you a little later on this evening? Bye. 
Think before you speak. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to take a position. You've been playing it pretty tough up until now. Are you trying to get me mad? You know what I think? I think you got some kind of problem. Yeah, right. Run along now. <laughs> You're not worth the effort. Run along! Yeah, you're right. Um, I like you and I wouldn't want you to get mixed up in anything that's dangerous. Okay, you asked for it. I'm a cop and I'm undercover. I've been trying to get a bead on this Vito guy now for quite some time and it's not panning out. I've been watching he and his friends all evening long and I'm getting nothing. I rented a suit and the whole works for this soiree. Listen, if I don't get something soon, I'm gonna be pounding the traffic beat again with my badge up my butt. I'm desperate. I really need your help. Will you do it? You know, I can't stand all this pretentious art crap. I'd rather be a lion on the shore of some lake or uh, climb my glider with the warm air flowing over the canopy, looking up at the stars. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you really want in on this? Hey, this has been nice. I'd like to see you again. I have to go make a call right now, but I'll be back around here throughout the evening. I'll be looking for you. Bye. Oh man, I'm sorry. I can be so stupid sometimes. I had no right to lay that on you. Forgive me for being a jerk. You better be sure this isn't a game. I wish things were different. I'd like to get to know you. I think we get along fine. I really do. No, no, I don't uh, think that's a good idea at all. Maybe some other time. I gotta go make a call, so I'll uh, see you a little bit later, okay? There's no halfway about this. You have to commit. Are you in? There's no need to be rude. Everybody makes mistakes. Don't start complicating things on me right now. I have to do something. I'll catch you a little bit later. Okay, here's the story. Vito's been spreading the rumor that he's involved with some kind of a cult called the Edom. Kind of a Freemason thing with uh, secret gland shakes bent on world dominance. My sources tell me that's a lot of crap. He's actually involved with some kind of a new cult called the Meadow, out of Japan via South America. They deal in some new synthetic narcotic called Demo. I know it sounds pretty far-fetched, but have you seen some of the characters this guy hangs around with, like Riel? This guy's a half-tribal type of guy, a mohawk, wearing a bizarre-looking tuxedo tonight. We've been trying to pin drug smuggling on this guy for quite some time and haven't been able to do it. If he's involved, I know there's drugs involved here. Then there's uh, Mia. Mia Tesla, Vito's girlfriend. I know she's involved here somewhere. Say la vie. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Ciao. That's fair enough, and I don't blame you. Um, listen, whatever you do, just don't blow my cover, okay? I gotta get going, so I'll, uh, I'll see you around. I need an agent. Vito's as tight as a drum, and real man, he's got a sixth sense when it comes to cops. Mia. Mia's too bizarre for me to get close to her. But you. 
You're somebody that people trust. You could get close and get the information that I need. Listen, I have to go make a phone call right now, but I'll be back a little bit later on. Oh yeah, right, the machine. I should check that out. Um, listen, I have to go make a call right now, but I'll meet you at that terminal there over by the exit, all right? Two minutes? What? Oh yeah. I knew there was something gonna break on this case pretty soon. And I knew it had to involve that Ed kid. He's been under Vito's wing now for a couple of years. Some kind of a boy genius. He was in graduate school by the time he was 12. Listen, what I'll do is I'll meet you over at the uh, terminal by the exit. I have something I have to do right now. All right? Oh yeah, right. I'm gonna check out that computer thing you told me about. Listen, I'll meet you over by the uh, terminal by the exit in a couple minutes. I have something I have to do right now, all right? Okay, what now? Are you here to burn my ass some more? Forget it. Have you changed your mind? Do you want to help now? Hi. Good to see you. Hi. How'd you do? Did you find out anything? I don't know. You just make me feel, uh, like... It's, it's something that you're doing to my head and I just can't describe it. It's, um... <laughs> Listen, I... I gotta go. I hope to see you later, alright? Just don't say a thing. Okay, look, maybe I was a little hasty tonight. I'm a bit on edge and you gotta cut me a little leeway. Let me step back, take a breath, and we'll start all over again. All right? Sure, all right. Um, don't give it another thought. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, that's about the last straw for me. I'm gonna have to go pursue another angle. I'll, um... I'll catch you later. Bye. Oh, well, listen. <laughs> Thanks anyway. You know, it uh, didn't pan out, but it was a real pleasure meeting you, and I'm glad I did. I'm going to head back to the station, see whether or not I can pick up a lead down there or something, and uh, I hope to see you again. Bye. Yeah? Yeah? Wow, that, that, that is wild. Let me... Um, I'm actually going to have to check this out. Why don't you let me call in, and I'll meet you at that machine over by the exit in a few minutes, all right? Don't. I want to trust you. I really do. What are you doing here? You're a mystery to me. Not a thing. I just don't have the patience for this kind of crap tonight. Fair enough. I like honesty. I just can't get you involved, all right? Oh, Christ, I'm not making any progress here. I'm gonna cut my losses. Bye. You know, you're just lucky I left my license to kill at home. Well, I guess if you're not gonna leave, then I'm gonna have to. It's been a slice. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing to me. It's uh, like you're playing with my head or something. And I've... I've really got to go, so, uh, um, I got to go. Bye. Hi. This is fantastic. I don't know how much of this stuff I believe, but I'm going to be able to use a lot of it. I'm going to send a car for this thing and take it downtown. It's going to make my case. I don't know how much of this is going to stick to Vito, but I got probable cause on Real. I'm going to take him down right now. That's true. But I can't miss this chance. He could be gone by tomorrow. He's too slippery. Yeah, you're right. I could get them both. Wait for Vito to make a wrong move. Riel's not going anywhere. That makes sense. Let me study this some more. You could help. Riel's in the booth over there. Why don't you, uh, you go ask him to come over here. Tell him that, um, tell him there's something wrong with the machine, all right? Damn, you just decided you're gonna turn on me here? You know, I presume everything you told me is on the level. So if you're not gonna help me, then get out of here. 
Will you try? All right. Go ahead, do it. There you are. I just can't seem to get my head around this thing. What you told me isn't doing it for me. I mean, like, I'm not the dumbest guy in the world, but this thing's a cat's cradle. Can you get me that file you were talking about? This is fantastic. I don't know how much of this stuff I believe, but I'm going to be able to use a lot of it. Give me a break. Take a walk. Are you going soft on me now? We've got him in the bag. I need to get him over here by the exit so I don't cause a scene. He's not going to come over here for me. But for you, leave me alone. Take a hint, would you? I'm ignoring you. Come back later. Now leave me alone and let me work with this, okay? Take off and don't bother me now. This is my last hope for a lead and it's pathetic. If it turns out to be nothing, I'm gonna be pissed. I give up. If this is a crock, you're a crock. I'm out of here. So what do you say? You look like you're in the appropriate party mood. You're not quite getting a hint here, are you? Take a long walk on a short trail. So, you thought you'd send me on a wild frolic, did you? Well, I got news for you. That's obstruction. And I've got you now. Big fish may have gotten away, but I'm going to have a lot of fun grinding you down. Come here. So, you thought you'd send me on a wild frolic, did you? Well, I got news for you. That's obstruction. And I've got you now. Big fish may have gotten away, but I'm going to have a lot of fun grinding you down. Come here. By the way, I don't know what drug that was you used on me, but uh, you're going to wish for some of that tonight.